Well, hello, everyone, and thank you for taking the time to join us in our demonstration of our scheduling solution using Workflow Anywhere. As you know, when you're managing a job, you need to schedule your employees, your equipment, and your subcontractors all to be in the right place at the right time. If you do that, without a doubt, you'll have a successful project. So let's begin with the end in mind. And that would be this schedule here, this calendar, which shows me where all of my, uh, my employees, my subcontractors, and my equipment are. So if I have a team that I need to uh, locate, here we are for the month of April on the various jobs that I happen to have. And I've got, again, the team of uh, employees. I've got the uh, equipment and any subcontractors that I might need. So let's work a little bit backwards and find out how we got here. So to get here, we're going to go into scheduling. And we are going to set up a schedule. We're going to indicate the length of the job and how long we think it will take. Now notice we have three sections here uh, where we're able to uh, put our equipment on here, assign our employees, and we can also assign any of our subcontractors at the same time. And so we have built that down here based upon the subcontractors and the prices that we have set up. We have some running totals to show us what it's going to cost us. When I save this, in this particular case, this is actually not an error message. This is something that I want you to see in that the system makes sure that we don't double book anybody, either, either a piece of equipment or an employee. We want to make sure that they're free on the days that we're scheduling. So let's work ourselves a little bit further backwards, and that would be the projects. And so here's where we have the projects. Now keep in mind, Workflow Anywhere is a customizable software. So you're taking a look here at uh, you know, five or six columns, but you could have many, many more in order to keep track of the information and the projects that you have. Uh, you are able to add fields as necessary. Uh, they can be date fields, they can be text fields, they can be fields, you know, grids like what you see here. And so we would go ahead and put the information in here. Now, if we need to, let's say we have a job, but the job has phases. We're able to come down here and indicate, okay, here's the phases that we're dealing with. Um, and so we have, in this case, structure, building, mechanical, electrical, and architectural. Uh, obviously, you might have site work. You might have plans and specs. There might be other, other uh, phases as well. And then if necessary, you can even have sub-phases where under the structural, you've got these three items here. So you're able to drill down pretty far as far as how you plan your job and how you schedule your people. So let's take a look at the people. Uh, here is where we set up our employees. Keep, keep in mind, again, we can add as many fields as we need to. So in this particular case, we've kept it simple. We have the employee name, uh, the wage, uh, the shift that they work, and of course, their, their skill. And these were, this of course you saw earlier, we applied to a particular project. The other thing we're able to do here, of course, is we're able to uh, set up our subcontractors. So here we have a list of three. Again, we can add as many fields as we need to here. If we need phone numbers addition, in addition to this, if we need to have addresses, anything along those lines, we can add those fields very, very simply. But here's where we have the, uh, subs that we normally use. We bring that all together and that brings us back to our calendar. And our calendar keeps us up to date uh, by the month with every job, the items that we have assigned to those particular jobs. So I hope this uh, answers a lot of your questions. If not, certainly contact your uh, salesperson. And uh, we certainly thank you for joining us. Have a great day.